Second day was even colder and raining, 7 degrees Celsius. But I still need to queue for ticket, was outdoor for an hour, reached cosplay area at 1. Website says that cosplayers are registered and only wear costume in cosplayer area. But look at the changing room queue and also the locker queue. I cheated by changing at the toilet and placed my stuff at coin locker, or else I'll be only in calls at 3 p.m. Confession time. Anime Japan website says that no one shall live in cosplay. Same goes with no one shall wear a costume at public toilet. And cosplayers are registered for official changing room and locker. Registration fee was 1000 yen. Honestly, the fee was fine, but I couldn't follow the rule due to too many people. Of course, it's good for them to refrain cosplayers to reserve public toilet. And storage place is awesome, as most of Japanese cosplayers actually bring luggage with them. But thank god, there's actually coin locker literally everywhere in Japan. Cosplay area was combined with food area. Honestly, I find the place so narrow and cramped and feels like there are actually more photographers than cosplayers. Cosplayers put a sign of their contact details. <laughs> Ikemen cosplayer! Creative cosplay from Kimi no Nawa. And another from Demi Chanto Tanaritai. I didn't stay long since I wanted to see finish the exhibition area, plus it was pretty hard for me to walk around. Photographers there were extremely friendly and polite. They always asked for permission. Only one photographer at a time, even though there's a queue. Photographer do request for poses, sitting pose, candid, back pose. Although I kind of feel sad since I don't have official Twitter account to communicate with. I honestly had the temptation to just enjoy a daiba, such as going to try police or just get inside the exhibition area without cosplay. But since I actually spent an hour under the rain, it was very cold and I actually skipped lunch, carried extra bag plus Johannes wing. Um, so I was like, when else to cosplay this character if not now? Just do it! Like you work so much for this for this event. <laughs> so at the end of the day I'm very glad that I didn't quit because even though I only cosplayed like for one hour, I think less than two hours, well not to include the time when I actually went cosplay to the exhibition area, which is actually not really allowed. <laughs> but yeah, I think I actually had a great first experience. So much to see in so little time! Back at the exhibition area, huge titan and cosplayers to take picture of. Beside my heaven, time to molest my boys. <laughs> Karaoke contest at my first book. Lost Fallen Angel heading to Collaboration Corner. Osomatsu and Umazo, horse race company. Bay Hotel collaborates with King of Prison for Fujoshi Hotel Room. Love Love Sunshine with Shizuoka Prefecture's Numazu. Picture with Yoshiko. Japan's anime event is huge. Well, it's the same place with Comic Cat, so I can imagine Comic Cat being that huge as well. But um, even though it's huge, everything was tidy. I mean, like, there are no people rushing and cutting queues now, there's no such thing at all. And well, I think it's also very safe there because I don't lose anything. And only the food area and cosplay area, I think, is a bit cramped because I think day two when I went there, well, it was raining outside, so no cosplayer really go outside um, in their cosplay. So 
all the photographers and all the cosplayers actually cram inside, which is the food area. <laughs> Well, for commemoration, I actually keep both of my tickets. Here are some photographer cards that I received. Besides flyers, they also give out sample manga for the next upcoming anime. It's one of my loots. Yoshimatsu! Well, honestly speaking, Osomatsu is like almost everywhere in Japan. So, not only during Anime Japan that I bought something Osomatsu related, Almost every day during my 7 days trip, I got something new which is related to Osomatsu. A quarter of the fires that I got, well, I've picked those that I like the most. Marginal 4, Tsukiyota, Tapri, Cospa, clothing, and of course there's also cosplay. I don't know what I would really use these fires for besides keeping them. Because there are also some of the fires that I took more than one. <laughs> because, well, prints, free prints! <laughs> From Sony, Arcel, Bakumatsu Rock, the musical, Natsume Yuzinjo, Nyanko Sensei. Hey, uh, it's not like I'm really going to buy the good store, but then yeah. Bang Dream, which is also like pretty much everywhere in Japan. No, everywhere in Anime Japan 2017. Well, they have like Exhibition Corner and all those. Not only 2D guys, but they also have real person prints. They also give out a clear file, upcoming Gintama live action movie, Lo-Fi Sunshine, but behind it is Bang Dream, Tokyo Ranbu, live action. Well, it's only 1 over 4, I still have 3 over 4 left. I also got nice plastic bags. Got them orphan. Oh, the orphan! Kazuki. <laughs> Based behind this, Lo-Fi Sunshine. This must be from Bandai. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching my two videos of my Anime Japan experience. There are still more videos coming up because Anime Japan were only a weekend, two days. That means I still have four more days in Tokyo. I will also be writing down a blog post soon because there are still a lot that I want to write, a lot I want to express, a lot of details. Don't forget to follow my Instagram, my Facebook, my Twitter. Uh, I just have a Twitter. <laughs> Maybe you want to check it out. <laughs> and then don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And all my cosplay pictures will be well cosplay. So once again, thank you very much and see you again. Pikan on the start. Bye bye.